So I find myself here in this beautiful park. It's kind of weird walking down here again. I don't know how to share this, but uh, over the last five months, I've actually been training um, the former K1 champ, Sina. Um, he's from Iran. He's almost two meters tall, but he's the under 90 kilos first uh, champion in the K1. It was the category that I always wanted to have when I was fighting myself. And uh, today, he's trying to regain his belt uh, by fighting the guy that knocked him out last time, apparently. So we're here, as you can see, at the Nippon Budokan. And Nippon Budokan is a fantastic place, which is the original arena for sumo wrestling in Japan. Um, K1 has set up their arena, and we're here early in the morning. It's like 9 o'clock. We had to get here. He doesn't fight until like 8.30 or maybe 9 o'clock tonight. Uh, but they got rehearsals and stuff like that. It's just really bizarre to be back in this scene because I've been away from martial arts for so long. So coming back here and seeing this and feeling that um, is kind of cool. But what's really cool is that yesterday, <clears throat> on the 27th of March, 1991, I arrived in Japan. And now, 30 years later, I have the chance and the opportunity to have Leona Petas fighting for the title belt for the title belt against uh, Takeru. And now this fight is going to be the biggest fight in K1 history um, in the last 20 years, I think. And we got Sina also going for his title fight. So I got two title fights that I'm here to help out with. And it's really cool, actually. I hope they both win because that would be like the ultimate culmination of 30 years in Japan. Um, I was thinking about doing something special, but you know, uh, it just is what it is. I didn't really feel like celebrating. I'm not sure if it's a celebration to do for something like that, but coming here for the fights today, it feels like, and I don't want to jinx anything, but it just feels like, it feels like we're gonna win. You never know, but look at that. So you got the K1 over there, you see? That's the K1 stadium. This is the Budokan, and I'm gonna make my way in and just support the boys today as best as I can. Um, yeah. It's been a while since I just touched base with you guys here. This is not going to be a YouTube video. This is going to be a, a Facebook thing for you guys. So, I don't know. I just wanted to touch base and say I feel very grateful for being here. And um, I feel very grateful for the things that I've had in my life. But most likely so, I spent the last 30 years kind of just trying to immerse myself into the Japanese culture. And now that I've gotten engaged to Angela, I feel like I've found what home really is all about. And... Uh, Today, everything, the last three decades of my life is gonna come into the culmination of the two main events on this fight of the K1 Festa. Right there, at Budokan. <laughs> now let's go. Take names and make legends, histories, fight like there has been no other battle ever fought before and win. 